All right, a woman who identified herself as Grandma called in on our Chiefs postgame show on 810 after the Broncos game and gave me a pretty good tongue lashing on the air for trashing the Chiefs. I've been trained to take the high road, at least publicly, in any encounters over the air. But even a day after that despicable showing, my opinion of this football team has not changed. The Chiefs have been exposed, and that was not an aberration yesterday. We should have seen this coming, folks. The Chiefs have clearly digressed in the last three weeks. The Denver beatdown is more than just troublesome now. The Chiefs were not prepared. They were not motivated to play a bad football team. We were led to believe that this coaching staff was the big reason for what appeared to be a quick turnaround considering the marginal talent. After starting the season 3-0, then 5-2, we were ready to coronate this football team as playoff worthy. Heck, two weeks ago, we were set to throw a playoff clinching party before the season was even over. All bets are off now. Are we gluttons for punishment or what? Todd Haley tried to warn us and we wouldn't listen. That first half in Denver will go down as one of the all-time worst performances in the history of the Kansas City Chiefs football franchise. 35 to nothing, only 25 minutes into the game. Absolutely horrendous and it is inexcusable. It was even ugly after the game. Todd Haley refused to shake hands with Josh McDaniels. Haley on Monday apologized. The bigger problem with Haley, he continues to feed us all this drivel on how his guys were fighting to the end. You know what? We don't want to hear that stuff. Not after watching them get pasted by an inferior team. Haley needs to stand up and admit that his team really sucked in Denver. Because it did. That's Jack Smack.